what's up? Today I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite flourishes. It's about four to five years old now and it still remains one of my favorites until this day. And it's called Frequency. So if you're interested in learning this flourish, then follow along. Alright, I'm glad you decided to learn Frequency. So as always, let's start with giving you a brief overview of what the flourish looks like. And that's frequency, so let's just jump straight into learning it. Alright, so just before we get started learning frequency, I'd like to point out two prerequisites that you need to have. First one is scissor cut, so fundamental stepping stone in cardistry, equip yourself with that. Tons of tutorials online, just look it up. Uh, second prerequisite is revolution 2, which is basically just this motion where a card, a packet gets clipped between your middle finger and ring finger. But this prerequisite is uh, not as important because you're not going to really be doing the full revolution 2. It's just going to be the closing motion, which kind of looks like this. So uh, you can even learn it along the way, I suppose. So not that crucial, but you're going to have to you know, figure out the motion eventually, which I think is totally doable just by watching this tutorial. So with, uh, without further ado, let's get started with learning it. All right, so let's get started with actually learning frequency. So it starts in a biddle grip. So biddle grip, just hold it in your non, or rather in your dominant hand, in your non-dealer's grip hand. So you're gonna start biddle grip, but your ring finger has to be at the corner because the beginning motion is gonna pivot a packet using this point of contact. So you'll realize that this flourish um, begins mostly with all the motion being underneath the deck. So you'll see what I mean as we progress. So your thumb of your dealer's grip hand goes over here. And you're going to strip off a fairly small packet, maybe a bit smaller than that, something like this. Maybe about oh, six, seven cards, something like that. Whatever feels comfortable to you. And you're going to hold it in between your ring finger of your non-dealer's grip hand and your thumb of your dealer's grip hand. And then the ring finger of your dealer's grip hand is going to come over to this side and is going to flip it over and you realize that you'll be in position for this next motion where you have to clip a card from the top of this deck. So your ring finger or your middle finger rather and your pinky finger is going to go on top of the deck and strip out one card. Alright, so just twirl one card like this with your ring finger and just apply pressure with your middle finger and kind of peel off one card from the top. Oops, that's a bit too much. Just peel off one card like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to split this top packet, this main packet, like this, in kind of a swing cut-esque motion. Just going to use your index finger from here to split up another packet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of bring this hand over here to catch this packet which is going to fall. You're going to drop this second from the top packet on top of this packet that you pivoted earlier. So what's going to happen is it's going to look like this. You're going to drop and then at the same time realize this packet is going to kind of just you know, flip over because that, that packet kind of flipped it over when you dropped it on top. All right. So let's take a closer look at that. You're here, and you're gonna drop that packet, all right? So that packet's not gonna fully flip over the first time around, so with your middle finger of your middle grip hand, you're gonna kind of aid it in flipping totally over, all right? So just once more, something like that, all right? And then you're gonna flip this packet over once more and you're going to use this packet that you clipped with your ring finger 
to aid that motion. So you're gonna kind of fold this card over like this. So you can flip this card over just like so. And then in that motion, you're also gonna coalesce that card with that packet. So they are now one, there's no more clipping. All right, so from the top again, just like that, all right? So now you're in a standard Z grip. So that concludes the first phase. Let's jump straight into the second one. All right, so now we are, as previously discussed, in the Z grip position after the first phase. So what you're gonna do is with your thumb, you're gonna contact the back edge of the top packet and you're gonna split off that packet into two packets just as before using your index finger. Now you're gonna do two simultaneous motions. The first one is you're gonna strip out the second packet like that. So if you learn my flourish delta, it's basically the same thing. So this, it just looks like this and the top packet or the original top packet is now in between your index finger and your thumb. All right? And the motion that you're gonna do at the same time is the scissor cut. So you're just gonna, all right? So once again, you are here, Z grip. And you're gonna split off and do this and a scissor cut at the same time. So it's a very seamless motion. So as you complete the scissor cut, you're just gonna drop this packet on top as well. And at the same time, or rather transitioning smoothly, you're gonna bring this packet down and you're just kinda slide this packet all the way down so you're here, all right? So it's kinda hard to explain. It's better if you just observe what happens. The motion is very seamless. You're just gonna do both of those things at the same time. You're gonna drop and then you're just in this position now. And in this position, I'll remove this packet so you can see. You're gonna now clip this big chunky packet with your ring finger going underneath that big packet so you can clip this packet, all right? So in this position, you're gonna clip that packet. And then, usually I like to hold this top packet by the corner over here. And then what you're gonna do is, you're just gonna kinda curl this packet on top. All right, so if you clip that packet, you're just gonna move this packet over to the side, and at the same time, you're gonna bring this packet on top. Now here's where the Rev2 motion comes in. You're just gonna use your ring finger. You're gonna press against the packet, as well as your uh, middle finger, and it's just gonna go on top like that. And then what I just like to do to turn the deck face up again, you're just gonna kind of hold this packet in a kind of a middle grip motion. You're just gonna tip it over, and then use your thumb to just bring it back. All right, so from the top, you're gonna do those simultaneous motions, seamlessly go here. Just like that. 